Hi there, it's Heather and today I am in Bath, England. And now Bath is a quick hour and a half train ride from London, which makes it a perfect day trip from the city. And that's what I'm doing today. I just hopped on a quick train from Paddington Station and I'm spending about eight hours here, which is not a lot of time. You could probably spend three or four days and still not see everything. Um, but I really wanted to come. I was short on time, so I'm enjoying the beautiful weather today. Now, Bath is this fantastic representation of Georgian architecture, right? Like, think Bridgerton. And actually, some of the scenes from Bridgerton are actually filmed here in the city. But before it was this gorgeous 1700s England city, it was famous for the ancient Roman baths. So ancient Romans um, from 2000 years ago had discovered a hot spring and their baths still exist today. And we are gonna check those out. We're gonna check out some architecture. We're gonna have some really great pub food um, and we're gonna learn all about Jane Austen. So let's go. Behind me is the Bath Abbey. It's this gorgeous old Gothic architecture church and you can absolutely go in and take a tour. Um, but what I like about it is it's directly in the center of town. So it's a great landmark to look for where everybody can meet up uh, and surrounding it is where the cute little town kind of took off. So tons of shops, great cafes, and it's right across from the Roman baths. So this is kind of like your central meeting point in the city of Bath. I'm at the Roman Baths, which is, of course, how Bath got its name. And you kind of can't come here, at least your first time, without a visit. It is well worth the admission. Um, not only do you get to see the gorgeous bath behind me, but there is a whole museum with all of these ancient Roman ruins. Um, the hot spring still flows, and when you're inside, you can feel the heat from it. But we can't bathe there because it's lined in lead. Um, but there are some spas nearby where you can book a package and go and take the, the hot waters um, for a couple of hours. I'm not doing that today because I have a lot of sightseeing I wanna do, but if you look up Thermae Spa, they definitely have some packages where you can be like the Romans and bathe, but in really fancy modern accommodations. Behind me is Sally Lunds, which is the oldest house in Bath. It actually dates from 1482, which is about 200 years before America's time. Um, it's a really great restaurant. They do afternoon tea and breakfast and some dinners, but what they're famous for are the Sally Lund buns, which is basically just a giant puffy roll. Um, if you don't want to wait in the obscenely long line outside, just pop in, go downstairs to the scary basement. There's a really cute museum there with the sweetest lady, but they sell the buns ready to go. So you don't have to wait in line, you don't have to eat in, and then you can make a little picnic outside. Look how big. This is the circus, which is really just fancy circle. Um, but this is probably the best example of Georgian architecture here in Bath. Um, think of it like the Brooklyn brownstones, right? Like they're super pricey condos. This is where even back then, but especially now, you want to live. You have these beautiful views over the town of Bath. It's just a tiny little walk up a hill. Um, but they have, they're all like really beautifully carved, these stone columns. It's just, you feel like you're quintessentially in Bath when you are up here. I have found myself a proper English pub. Please ignore the wine, I've been told it's socially acceptable here. This is called the Salamander. And if you walk two or three blocks off the center square, actually down something called Quiet Street. <laughs> this is hidden, tucked in, tiny little sign. It was a recommendation from my hotel concierge in London. Um, and I will tell you, I am the only American, the only tourist. It is so charming. The food is fantastic. They have about seven different vegan options. I'm kind of obsessed with it. All of the patrons are so friendly. I have learned a new thing about mixing mayonnaise, ketchup, and Tabasco sauce. 
and I might not go back out into the rest of Bath and just sit here for the rest of the day because I am so charmed and I cannot recommend it enough. This is where you should come have your lunch when you're here. I'm in that Jane Austen Center about to take a tour of her house and her times in Bath. I love Jane Austen. I'm making Justin suffer through this and I don't even care. I heard a story that the Bath Fine G shop was the place to be, so I had to stop in and pick up some local cheeses. We got a brie, because it's my favorite, and a local cheddar. It smells stinky when you go in there, so you know it's good. So we are gonna go find a park, have a picnic, and enjoy. Behind me is Pultany Bridge. And it's just really pretty, isn't it? With the falls there. But on the other side of the bridge, there are a ton of shops, a coffee shop, a cafe. But what I love is just kind of the vibe here, right? This is the day where, like today, it's beautiful and it's sunny. And imagine yourself sitting at that little cafe along the river, watching the falls, pretending like you are British royalty, just enjoying the countryside. Thank you so much for joining me on my tour of Bath. I have been wanting to come here for probably about 12 years and it did not disappoint. It lived up to every expectation. I'm only sad that I only gave myself about eight hours to tour here. So be better than me. Give yourself at least 12 to 15. Even better, stay the night, stay two nights. It's gorgeous. It is so easy to picture yourself like you are in Elizabethan or Victorian times, walking around in old timey England. Um, but even beyond that, what we think of as old, this city was already here for 1300 years before that. Um, but it has built on that history. The food culture is amazing. The shops are adorable. There are street performers and artists, and it is so worth a trip, a side trip from England. Um, I know that I missed a lot. For example, I already want to come back and visit Prior Park and see all of those beautiful sculptures and green space um, and maybe take a ride down the river. Um, but if I missed your favorites, let me know in the comments or ask questions. I'm happy to answer whatever I can. And if you could, click like, subscribe, share with your friends. It means so much to me. I am Heather and I will see you next time. Bye!